Hey guys. Hey guys, Brandon Aaron here from Five Go. Back at the Tampa show. I think we're okay. on video number five or something now. Looking at bunk houses, specifically fifth wheels. Mm -hmm. And we found one that's on our short list. Yes, we, we looked at this one before we came yep, and knew we, we wanted to see it. We've been looking at all the different manufacturers, all the floor plans on the internet, scouring everything. And mm -hmm. we made a short list of ones that we definitely wanted to see. So we are excited to see this one. Yes. This is a Forest River Cedar Creek 377BH. First of all, when you're walking up to it, it's kind of sharp looking. It is. You know, it's yeah, it's got like swoops and graphics and stuff, but, but I kind of... I kind of like the shiny. They're not swoopy swoopy. I, I like, like the cedar. I like, I like the shiny. Oh, it sticks out. Yeah, it's like. Oh, it's like a thick, like a thick decal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And all of these have leash latches, which I like that it's here because we tend to hook Vector up to the stairs and then it gets tied around. And... Or the picnic table or something Yeah, like yeah. That. So yeah. at least up here, you're starting off with nothing to get wrapped around, yeah. except I'm sure most dogs are going to go under there and around the leg. You guys know how dogs are. Yeah, let's go ahead and look right. at this one. We have not been in yet. No, we have not been in. We just walked up on it. Nice big storage. I love it when they have... Yeah, the rubber mats. Yeah, that's The stall nice. mat. And then we've got a little little thing here. Enough room to put my 22 inch in there. Yep. Blackstone. Built-in vacuum. Built-in vacuum. Okay, let's Starting go strong. in. So, 377BH. There's your show price. Okay. So. I like it. Wow. This is you know what? That looks even better in real life. It looks real nice on the camera, but that looks this is nice. real nice. A I feel it's, it's a little, little heavy. It's a little heavy up here. It is. You know, I do have my hat on, so that's kind of shading up above my eyes. But, but it is heavier than the last couple ones we've looked yeah. at. Because it does have some of the details up on the top. Yeah. So we've got, you know, normal dinette with floating chairs. But they two seats over here. And put the sword Oh, they brought it out of it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And a ceiling fan. I love moving air. Yes. Nice tall slide. Again, I'm six feet tall. This is probably seven feet tall on the slide. It's nice. We got the three cushions so I can lay down to watch yep. TV. So that's like an 80 inch couch there. Yeah. Nice. So it's got the built in tire pressure monitoring system. It's good. TV is all the way back on the wall. So there's no storage behind that. Nice little uh, it does fireplace. Come out, though, like it's on a wiggle on an arm. Yeah. So if you were sitting on the couch here, you could angle that out. So a lot of the ones we've been in today have not had the convection microwave, but they've been telling us about the ovens. And these ovens are quite a bit bigger. Yeah. And Brian pointed out to me that they're heating from the bottom and not from the top like yep. some of the older ones were doing. Yeah, the problem with the generic RV oven is you only have this much space and above because the burner is right here and you don't have access to the bottom. Yeah. This one, it's way down below. It's also why it's much, much taller. Yep. So you're not gonna get a drawer underneath it, but you have an actually usable oven. So, that's kind of nice. Yep. Lots of, ooh. That's like a spice rack. Yeah, oh, and it's heavy. Is it? Like it feels Wait, is there nice. another one? Oh, what? Like um, cookie Sorry. sheets. Oh, baking sheets. Baking sheets and cutting a boards couple. and whatnot. A couple, I'm not sure. With our current stuff, I'm not sure how much would fit in there. What is panel light? Oh, control knobs. Okay. So light. over here we've got drawers, drawers, cabinet. Is this a little flippy? A little, little flippy drawer. Uh, we got a nice one up here. Yep. Stick them up there. This is nice. These are big and deep. Yeah, two different They're sizes. Very deep. Ooh, these are like sticky. Are they? Whoa. Very rubbery. Just rubber coated. So instead of exposed oh, stainless. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Okay, nice pantry. Nice. Drawers. <sighs> you, I'm so know, torn you on like the drawers. Because then it's a thick space. You can't change where the things are. Yeah. There's yeah. plugs in here too, though. Just a big empty plug. Huh? So, like, I wonder if you oh. could, like, keep your Instant Pot on here. Uh. And just cook. I don't yeah, know. I don't know. That's a thought. Yeah. Uh, the plug, I mean, you could add lighting in there. I like the big storage down there for, like, dog food and, yep. like, you yep. know, just kind of a big, from big hole at the bottom. This is residential. Massive. Yep. Residential fridge. That's a terrible noise. I apologize. I don't know what that is. That's Something. Very. Oh big. yeah, that's big. Wow. Very big. So residential. What up? It must have an ice maker. I saw a filter up in the top. Yep. Yep. Ice maker right there. Okay. There's a little little flippy cabinet up here. So now, mid bunk. Mid bunk. How we got? How how no we bunk. how we do? No bunk. Not a mid bunk. It's a room. 
So we've got a um, barn door, skinny yep. one, Pocket and uh, no actual bunk. Yep. You, this again, you without. could you could put one on the floor and build one at the bottom height of that window. Yep. Or do freestanding. Yep. Um, and then across I'm the way. This needs a cover. There's no. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, look, I just put my armor in. It's the food <laughs> chute. You just drop food in there, and the kids the stay alive. Yeah. This mid bunk has steps, steps, like we saw in a couple of the other ones yep. earlier. So that's why this is here. Yeah. And then we got some. Like plenty of storage for two kids worth of. Two or three and kids. Stuff. Yep. Yeah. And these these are actually pretty nice. Yeah. And then over these here. Cabinets and these doors, I said it earlier, are nicer than some of the other ones we've been in. I'm hitting an accent button and nothing is happening. Ceiling. Well that one works. So there's a coax here, so I'm assuming there's a backer. And then cabinets here. Floor registers. Uh, eh. Not a big fan of those. So going up this nice way. Room, yeah. That's a thermostat. Or no, that's battery control. Solar, charge, control. Charge, solar control. charge controller. Yeah, okay. Um, so this is your thermostat. This is a touch control, touch center. Yep. Oh, yeah. All your controls. Everything's in here. there. Slides are here. Everything. Yeah. And then we've got the built in vacuum. Nice. So that's the, you just sweep everything up to there, open that door, and it sucks it in. Okay, now. What this is taller. Uh, yeah, it is. I can lay in this one, and my head doesn't I mean my this is shoulders much aren't going to touch. Yeah. This is this is a bit better. Yeah. I like that they put the little net things on the wall. No, nets aren't bad. And no. there's probably a backer on one of these two walls because it's coax and coax stuff there, up there. Yeah. So yep. oh, not bad. Okay. And there's a fan up here. Oh, they have the grip tape on the stage. Well, there's a fan up nice. here too. A fa that exhaust fan. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. This is different. A little, little tiny window. Yeah, a tiny one. Does it it is big, huge. Yeah, that would balance. just come off. See, the shoulder height. That, oh, that's gonna hurt. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 that's real pokey. Oh, that oh, it's sharp. Mm-hmm. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's gonna hurt when you knock into that one, guys. Bad work. All right. So the sink is different in this one. The toilet is set back a little farther than we've mm -hmm. been seeing. Yep, sink and vanity are a little different. So if you guys don't know, if you're new to looking at RVs, you ever see pink stuff in the sinks? That's just because they winterized it. That's an yep. antifreeze. Uh, nice big mirror. I'm not sure why they're advertising the tire pressure control thing in the bathroom, but all right. I don't know. So... Okay. Look at those balances. They're a shelf. L look at those shelf lenses. <laughs> Shelf lenses. Shelf lenses. All righty. I just came up with a new word. Shelf lenses. This is new. I gotta see this up close. Okay. Any lighting? There's no lighting. There's there lights. There are lights. These are push button lights. There you go. All right. It is a ridiculous valance, but it's also a shelf. It is a shelf lens. Shelf lens. Shelf lens. Will it hold your seat up? Uh. It would hold it, and there's no power. There's power here, so okay. there's no power on the slide. There's USB on the slide, so it would hold it, but I would have to take it down to fill it up with water. Yeah. And actually, I'm not 100 percent sure because the hose comes out the top. I so, think it would fit. so I don't know. And then, ooh, floor lighting. Floor lighting. I do like yes. that. All that that does expose all the stuff. Oh. No. My shoes. Oh yeah, no, it just stops right there. <laughs> Put your shoes back Not on. for shoes. Good size drawers. We haven't done this in any of them. They, they all have this. They I all know. have storage. There's your chairs for the dinette. Okay. Yeah. And there's also, uh, you see that crank handle there? If you have issues with the slides, the uh, motor controls are normally underneath there. So hopefully you don't ever have to deal with that, but that's where they are. Mm-hmm. Is... So they have a... Yeah. Oh, wow. Stronger Whoa. than our current one. Wowzers. A bunch then, of people outside just snap their heads towards us when that slammed down. All right, this unit is prepped to add a side-by-side. Okay. -side. Where? Where? So there's water hookups there, water and drain there, dryer Take vent there. Take this out? So this photo, yeah, you take this stuff, you take that bottom out. Okay. So you lose that, but you set it right there. Right? Yeah, and then the hoses come forward. Yeah, so it's sitting the right there. The dryer vent hole is there. 
Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay. Okay, I'm it's not sure. It's require assistance. Yeah. Wait, this unit is prep. Hmm. Dryer, washer, dryer vent. Dryer vent all the way over there. I'd have to see that in person. That's, yeah. This photo is not helping too much. Um, and then we've got King stuff back in there. Mm -hmm. Not very familiar with that. Oh, and then a bar doing the full length of that nose. All right. This is a bad. lot of mirror, too. Yeah. So what do you think? Does so it stay on the short list? Um, the loft is taller. The loft is taller. The mid bunk needs help. I like the mid bunk, but it, it's going to require a, it doesn't have a bed. Right. Yeah. Um, I like it. It's got some nice features to it. We would all fit in here. Yeah. Um, I think we could leave it on the list and okay. see if they make any improvements okay. mid year or anything. Okay. And it has shelf lenses. Shelf lenses. <laughs> or valves. This is the only bath, right? So it's one one, one bath. full bath. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely it's a little bigger up in here. I like how big those steps are. Yes, like the yeah, they're the deep. Plate. They're mm -hmm. deep. There's plenty of room for your foot. You don't have to step down like at an angle or sideways. Yeah. This is a nice space, though. Oh, this living room is gorgeous. Room. I really like this. This living and room this is gorgeous. this is so much space, like, on this island. Yeah. Yeah, this this is huge. I mean, you could even put a bar stool down at the end here, because uh, there's a bunch oh. of bunch of underhang here, or you overhang. You could put two. You could yeah. put two of the little ones for the littles to sit. Or, you could maybe depending on load bearing, they do make swivel out bar stools. Mm. We've seen those in some. I don't. We haven't seen any today. If we find some, we'll show you. Yes. But there are swivel out bar stools that attach to islands. Okay. I like it. Okay, Cedar Creek. I like it. I like it. A couple I things. I hear what you're saying. This is a bit higher end than some of the other ones we've seen. Right. What was the show price on this one? Seventy-five, I think. Yeah, that's not too bad for a fifth wheel. Yeah. Yeah, seventy-five. 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 All right. Car I like it. Too. Let's keep looking. Do it. Okay, our other short list was the Hemisphere 353 BED. They do not have it here on site, but they do have the 356 QB. So let's go look at that one. Again, this is Forest River Hemisphere. So right off the bat, stupid TV. Stupid TV. It's sideways. It does swivel out, but bruh. All right. It swivels out and towards you. So you just are like TV in Yeah, face. yeah, and then you're in the hallway and stuff. I'm going to keep talking because there's copyrighted music playing. Yep. Let me get away from that. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we've got a big booth down it over here. A uh, little couch. Little couch. No this island. Has... No island, so it's just big and open. This I, like the... The, I like the floor of the herringbone. Yeah, this is the... Yep. So this is the terrible um, RV oven. Yep. I was like, is it a proofing oh, drawer? That's weird. <laughs> Just a stealth drawer. Yeah, and then a wee microwave. You can do it in popcorns. Yeah. Okay. Did you hear that? This, this is, is this is why we say get in these things. Very cheap construction. There's nothing holding these. There are no closed. latches. No latches holding these closed. But if you have a lot of kids that you're bringing, this so, is nice. Dual slide bunkhouse. Yeah, posing slides. Okay. So you've got an entertainment center here because there's a kitchen on the outside. Right. Bunk Deep up here. Bunk here. This is not one of those 36. I guess you just climb up the shelves. I guess. There's a handle there to pull yourself up with. Okay. Yeah, they're pretty sturdy. I would probably climb up on this side. So bunk here and then this flips out. Yep. Nothing behind the door. But then there's a bathroom in the back. And then it's a full bath with a tub. Full bath in the back? So it's yep. two full baths? Two full baths. But what there's is a tub? tub. Yeah, so if you need to wash kids or a dog or... Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. And then sink and thing there. So those are solid steps behind you, correct? Um, no. No, they're flip they and fold? Okay, so they stuff. don't, so when this is closed, they don't take up space. Right. I have seen ones with the door out the back that have yeah. the solid steps. When those are up, they are sticking into the room. So when you have a little tiny bathroom like that with the solid steps, it can be a problem if you can't open it. You cannot access this from this door. No? When the slides are in. Because oh, yeah? when the slides are in, it closes, it covers the door. Oh yeah, that slide just whoop, right there. Yep. Yeah, you wouldn't so even be able to open it. That might be why there's a, this a is, thing after uh, that. That's not straight. It's not straight. <laughs> this is why you walk through RVs. Yes. Alright, we got a ceiling fan. Ceiling fan up there. Big fan of ceiling fans. Right. Uh, okay. 
skeleton steps, floating steps. But it, and then they have like a dog's dish underneath it in the picture. Okay. And like shoes and stuff. Okay, so controls are here. Yeah. yeah. This was not my favorite rig. No. This wasn't even on the list, so. No. Yeah. This is different. This makes me think like there's like a door to the outside here. Oh, uh, because it's inset in a different color? Yeah, I'm like, I just want to go through! Right? Just jump through. Just like no. Kool-Aid Kool Man it right through the wall. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah. so we got size bed up here. TV backer. This is smaller. Oh, light. There we go. This is ugly. Uh, it is. Yeah. If this is your thing. And then the mirrors. The, you can only get to the mirror where the bed is. Why isn't the mirror here? I would like to see what I look like. You can you can dress your left half and be confident in your left half. Yeah. All right. So washer dryer hook up here. Oh, that's why that's built out there There's so you can fit column? it there. It's a column. Yeah, that's. Why is there a column? I don't know. This is a silly. Rig. There's a column. Okay. Walk through rigs. Layouts yeah. might look fine, but then you get in them and yeah. you're like, what, oh, what were was, they thinking? What was the bathroom? Okay. Kind of normal. Good size shower. Yeah. This one's show price is 48. 48. 48. So this so the other one we were just in was 75. 75. That's a big difference. There you can see kind of the differences yeah. of what they're putting in them. Yep. Okay, so this is the granddaddy of our short list. This is the Solitude 3740. This is an S class. This has been a D. The S series. This has been on our short list forever. Yeah. Since Ever? it came out. Yeah. Alright, so nice big pass-through storage here. So this one is kind of like the oh, granddaddy to the 312 that we used to have. Yep. It's like the the big burly brother. Yeah. Oh, and this one has it with, without the dinette, which is what I would want to do. Yeah, so you like the super couch. I do like the super couch. And uh, I don't like it because there's only a couple arms, but it's yeah, okay. It's fine. Yep. Oh, so we have not been in a 2021. No. So this is different. White floor, lighter colored wood, because mm -hmm. the previous ones were basically the same colors as the 312 that we had. Right, which was relatively dark. Yeah. So, yeah. coffee bar area over here, huge pantry. Huge pantry. Yeah. And then we've got room for a residential fridge. Yep. Um, but this one does not appear to be. Is it a residential? Hmm. I'm not sure. All right, so lots of counter space, of course. So it's big, huge island. So you all this can, counter space over here. You can do residential. You can get an 18 cubic foot. Okay. Um, okay. Yep. Yeah. And this this is basically the living room, just a little bit bigger uh, of what we had in the 312, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which we liked. We enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. So TV over here, tons of counter space. I like the window back there. The 312 did not have the window back there. No, Love I that. definitely like having the windows. Yeah, it gets you extra sizes. light over there. It's lovely. Yeah. Let's go forward and look at the... Okay. Save the best for last. Save the best for last. All right, bathroom's right here. So, bathroom looks the same as almost all the ones we looked at today. Yep. It's a lot of the same. They, good, good they extended show. it out here so you have a little bit more counter space yeah. and then made it... That's a lot of counter space, actually. This is a bath and a half, so that's the full. Mm -hmm. And then up here... One thing I have not liked about it is there's no side tables. Yeah. Um, it got wee little balances. No, t no, uh, uh shelf, shelf No shelf like the no. last one. No. Yep. Or the one before. And then and we then... got the huge nose closet. Yep. And it is prepped for washer dryer. Yeah. Just it's big. enormous. It's big. Enormous. So these shelves, you can move these side shelves around and then dryer over here. What's dark? and a washer over here or you can do a combo because there's a hole there or you can drill a hole for dryer over there mm -hmm. so you can have a combo on that side or washer there dryer over here nice whatever your pleasure is with that all right ac up in here of course little tv i don't know what logic is logics is they used to Grandland used to use tcl they did in the living room was it tcl mm -hmm. okay now, tcls are pretty nice this is not as nice as i remember it no no Oh no. No, it feels a little cheaper. It feels lighter. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so, and we got the bunkhouse. So, sliding door here. And then this is the bunkhouse. Yep. And if you guys have seen our tours of this before, you know we like this one um, because there's a bed for every one of our children without converting a Without couch. converting anything, yeah. So, there's one up here. 
that Brooke would probably be on because she's like really, a monkey and likes to be up high. And that's really tall too, so you would definitely want to cover that or something, or put a yeah, it is very high up here, like a uh, fence or something. Like it's higher than five feet. Yeah. And then we put Ben down in here. So that one goes back into the corner. Yep. And there's a, there is a light in here, so it's not like a cave. Right. But he can have his own little cubby area, and then of course we give this space to Tara. Yeah. Just to give her her own preteen space. There's plenty of room up there for her to sit up. For her to yeah yeah read, I mean, it's, for her to sit on her ipad is this full profile no this, no. Is, this is mid profile but still a ton of ceiling height back in yeah. here and then big huge cabinets well that one's not this that one, one that's the deep, deep one yeah um and then a bunch of drawers down there mm -hmm. is there there is tv back for location is TV up, back here. up here so you right. can put it on an arm yeah and swing it out so they can watch on the couch or just have them all pile up there to watch and yeah. then there is a half bath in here as well dedicated to the space yep, with a door with a door and three hooks so a little balance a or a little uh vanity actually not a vanity just a mirror and then so, one one cabinet here a toilet here isn't there like a there's like a hole there's something here yeah a hole there's a cabinet here in the half bath so we looked at a bunch of models today this was always at the top of our list. I don't know if it still is. I don't know if it still is. Yeah. It was kind of novel when it first came out because it had the three dedicated beds. Yep. But Which not um, a lot of other bunkhouses do. But I have seen a few other things since we've been here that have made me start thinking that maybe they'll start making some smarter decisions. Yeah. So I think the 3740 might be dethroned. It might be dethroned. Stay tuned. Mm. See what see what see what takes its place. Alrighty. So I think that's about it for today. Mm -hmm. We gotta get heading back up the road. So stay tuned. There will be more videos coming from the next time we are here. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed all of these Tampa videos. Because mm -hmm. there's more coming. And if there's one that we didn't see while we were here and you're interested in it, there's lots of RV dealerships around here. So we might be able to find it and go in it for you. Yeah. So let us know in the comments down below if there yeah. was something that you wanted to see. And or even if it's not a bunkhouse. Or if there's a model you think we would like. Yes. Because we are basically in the RV capital of the, the world. Yeah. Uh, down here of in Central Of the showing Florida. of them, yeah. Yeah, so there's dealers everywhere. We can find it. Yeah. If, you th if you think we should look at it, we can find it. Let us know in the comments. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Bye. See you in the next one.